chair is over in this corner because our Christmas tree is still up. Bless your heart pillow will be right here. I don't need the lumbar support at the moment. Well, I probably do. No, that's fine. I want to make a chunky white sweater. I need a crisp white sweater. Before Christmas, I was talking to my mom and she was asking, you know, what I wanted or what I needed for the holidays. And I was trying to give her some ideas. I was telling her like, oh, I need a new vacuum. You know, I could use, really that's it. You know, all I could really come up with was I need a new vacuum. When I was racking my brain thinking of things, I was like, you know, I love sweaters. I don't need sweaters. I have far too many actually. But you know what kind of sweater I don't have is a plain, white sweater. I have all these colorful turtlenecks that I want to wear with all of my sweaters are too colorful and the turtleneck's colorful and it's just like too much color and I always wish I just had a plain white sweater. I do have one white sweater but it kind of has like a navy trim and it has like little designs of like a bear and a moose. Let me just go get it. I'm just gonna go get it. This is the white sweater that I have from Yellowstone and I guess I could layer this with some colorful. I just want a plain sweater with none of this design. No navy blue trim. I just want a plain white sweater. And so I'm gonna make it. I, I want it, I want it. So I'm gonna make it, that's it. Where are my manners? I realized I never said welcome to the vlog. So welcome to the vlog. And let's go make a bagel. Okay, before a bagel, I need to introduce the supplies. US 17 needles for the ribbing, US 19 for the stockinette portion of the sweater. And then this is the yarn that I used from We Are Knitters. And now we can watch me make a bagel. Isn't that fun? Always good, always spot on. As it turns out, I think I'm going on a coffee slash hike date tomorrow. I don't think I've ever been on a hike date with a man. I mean, I know I've never been on a hiking date with a man. I don't know how I'm feeling about him seeing me in leggings. Yes, I am terrified. Uh, yes. Today is Friday. I am just trying to finish one panel. Let's see if we can crank that out and I'll check in with you guys later. We've completed the ribbing on these size needles, switching to the bigger needles to do stockinette. Before we do that though, I wanna try one of the cookies that's in this box. I don't know which one I wanna try. There's a dozen cookies. Sarah took one. This one looks like a cinnamon roll and then you put this icing in it, which could be kind of fun. I'm going with Nutella. I need something a little sweet before I get into stockinette. Surely you guys understand. Oh, it's Nutella s'mores. I was about to say, it tastes like a marshmallow. I thought it was gonna have like Nutella filling, which I think I would have liked more, but this is still very good. I did grab my space heater because I was feeling a little cold. I've reached a pretty good length. I normally just do stockinette until it like kind of hits, you know, right? What do you call that? You know, that part of your neck that kind of like goes in. You know what I mean? What the fuck is this called? Do you know what I'm talking about? Where that little area goes in? I just knit stockinette until it like hits right about there. I don't know how many rows, but we'll deal with that when I do the back piece so I match it. I'm gonna shape the neck right now. We're going to cast off some of the middle stitches and shape the shoulders and we'll be done with our first panel. Okay, so I finished the front panel. I always end up putting my head like through this cord so I can like really see. Look at that. See, I can wear this with this. I could never wear this with any of those sweaters on the wall. I mean, I could, it would just be too much. I'm feeling good. One panel down, one panel and two arms and a collar to go. Good morning. It's like I know what I'm supposed to wear for a hiking date, but I've never gone on a hiking date. So I'm feeling like pretty self-conscious about what I'm putting on. Let's start with what's most obvious, which is leggings. Don't really know what I wanna wear on my top half. My navy blue Lululemons, because my other pair that I really like recently got a hole in them. I am going to have to cave and buy some new leggings, which is just like the fucking worst. There's a good amount of lint on them, so that'll be endearing hopefully maybe my teddy bear socks 
<laughs> Ooh, maybe my oyster ones. Uh, no, I'm not liking these socks. We're just gonna go with plain white socks. Ugh, I also feel like I smell. Like, I feel like even when I wash my leggings, they still smell as if you worked out in them. That sounds gross. It's like I wash them and they smell washed, but there's like something you have sweat in that before. It's, it's clean but you can tell. This is where I'm lost. I'm cold right now. It's cold in my house. I don't know how cold it's supposed to be where we're going, so I think I need to do a layered situation. This jacket. The female mind is crazy because the idea of a man seeing me in leggings physically exerting myself makes me wanna die. The idea of a man seeing me butt ass naked physically exerting myself doesn't sound too I hope it's cold because I don't want to take off this top layer because I think this is like, this is cute. This is cozy. Putting on my new Life is Good t-shirt. I got this right before I left Chattanooga. It says Chattanooga, Tennessee on it. I think that's sweet. Maybe I shouldn't wear this. Damn, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I don't know why I'm thinking about it so much. Maybe this shirt that just says New Mexico with this over top. And we're not changing again because it's, it's not that big of a deal. It's not that big of a deal. Perfect, done, done. So we have finished the body. It looks pretty good. I'm gonna do the collar before I do the sleeves and I think I'm going to do a turtleneck. I'm not gonna do a crazy turtleneck. I'm not gonna like go all the way up to here. But I normally do a mock neck, but I think I wanna go just like a little bit further. I really hope this sweater turns out how I have it in my mind because I can already picture me wearing it, wearing this certain ribbon in my hair, posing. I don't know, I can just like picture it so clearly in my mind that I really hope the picture of me wearing it will be the same picture that I take at the end of all of this. There's only one way to find out, so. Put my hair up so you guys can see the collar. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think it's good. It's not like all the way up so I don't feel suffocated, but it's definitely more than what I normally do. I'm happy, I'm satisfied. I'm kind of tempted to do a longer ribbing on the sleeves like I did on, hold on how I did on both of these. See how that ribbing comes further up? I really, I think I'm gonna do the same kind of style. And this is a plain white sweater, but of course I want it to be a little bit different. I don't want it to just be like the plainest white sweater ever. for too long and part of me thinks that it's not long enough and I should have started it up here but part of me thinks that like I don't think I'm gonna mess with it I think I'm just gonna do the next sleeve and if I hate both of them then I can go back and fix the cuff if I change something I would just go back and start the cuff sooner but then it makes the sleeve so short that like that feels I'm trying to work on taking my own advice and just don't think about it too much if you stare at a piece long enough you're gonna hate it and I'm just gonna do the next sleeve and then we can decide if I want to fix the cuffs on both of them Golden hour, baby. So I finished the sweater and Megan is about to take photos. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just because it's so beautiful without me. Yeah, no, for sure. Let me just get out of your way. Hold on. No, I totally get it. Yeah. No, anytime, for sure. Wait, I haven't talked to my vloggy babies in a while. I know, well, feel free. I'm picturing, like, yeah, me just kind of, like, in front of the tree or something. Hi, my little vloggy babies. Mommy missed you. 
Oh. Mommy's just working really, really, really she hard is. She has days. a new job. Check her bio if you want to see kind of where she's working. Really, really tough. Really hard work. And uh, it's pretty amazing, I got to say. Sorry, I'm just updating my content. So if you guys want to follow me, Sally Dart will put that right there. Or we can just say it. Sally Dart's going to put it right there. Okay, yeah. yeah. Yes, I will put that handle. I'll kind of hand this piece over to you. I am liking the cuffs now. I was feeling insecure about the cuffs, but I... Okay. Are we are we shooting now? Yeah. Oh, okay, oh sorry. Great. I was just like yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Getting some test shots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ew! I look like an alien. Okay. <laughs> you have to deck that to yourself. New contact photo. Oh, okay, got it. Yeah, I think like I want the first photo to be some kind of iteration of that because I want to show. Oh. oh my god, my ass looks incredible. Oh my god, there you go. Yeah, like one of these is like kind of the vibe. Why did you just text me? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, something like that. It's so scary sometimes. Well, it's really the photographer. Right, 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 sorry. Capturing the essence. Right, yeah, sorry. It's like the model gets all the credit, the photographer does all the work, I get it. Oh, it's 444, four, four. wish. Turn around. Turn around, stick it out. Even white boys got a shout. Baby got back, a little in the middle, but you got much back. Wait, that's so you right now. Well, do you want to say bye to the vlog with me? Bye. Bye, thank you for watching. Love you guys. And maybe I'll write a pattern for this. Actually, I definitely will because I feel like this is like a really beginner friendly, chunky. Everyone needs a white sweater. That's why That's why I made this for myself. So you probably need a white sweater too. You know how I said at the beginning of this vlog, like I had an image of like what kind of photo I wanted in my mind. I really feel like I achieved what I had up here. And for that, I am thankful. And I like the cuffs. I like the cuffs, I've decided. So anyways, thank you guys for watching and I love you, of course, duh. And bye.